Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Demon Cave. The Irish Demon here, back for part two of yesterday's video. Now, if you've missed that video, check it out in the link down below in the description. As suspected, I got a fair old bit of heat for that last video, just because, God forbid, I wouldn't agree with every single thing that the cops do. Fact of the matter is, both parties in this interaction are completely wrong. If you don't like that, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you, but I'll continue to tell it as it is. So let's get stuck straight back into it, shall we? I don't need to have a reason well, or an you're, explanation. You're going, you're filming us and you're, you have absolutely no explanation for what I do have an explanation. You don't have an explanation. I do, I do. I you do. don't. Rest I assured. told you I don't want to be on, on, on foot. Well, you're welcome, you're welcome to... Like, you're in our workplace. I'm you not know, in your workplace. I'm in a workplace. public place. No, it's not. This is our workplace. So this isn't a public this place. This is our workplace. Oh, this is, this is part I'm of aware, but it can be filmed yeah. from public. No, it can't. Mm -hmm. I said to you, you can't even give a proper explanation. There is an exp there is a proper so explanation. You're, you're not. Matters of public interest. Of the public what? are interested to see how their tax money is being spent. Interactions between the public and the authorities. You can't even tell us where you're from, so we don't even know. I don't need to. I don't need to tell you. So why are you saying you're doing it on behalf of taxpayers when you can't prove you're a taxpayer? I don't need to prove I'm a taxpayer. What about other taxpayers? You're a hypocrite. Okay. Now he says that he's doing this on behalf of the taxpayers. Let's just put that aside because we all know that's not what he's doing it for. He's doing it for clicks and views. As for him being a hypocrite for not being a taxpayer himself, that's not really relevant. For example, if you were a journalist and you came to Ireland to see how our road tax is being used to fix the roads, but you yourself are not a taxpayer, that wouldn't make you a hypocrite. He would have been a hypocrite if he said, I as a taxpayer have a right to film this and then turned out not to be a taxpayer in this country. Let's reserve our opinions that like you're in well, uniform, you, you're, you're at work. You prove it and not have a discussion with you, but at the moment you're just a hypocrite. Okay, I'll be a hypocrite. Why are you standing so close, bro? There's no need for this. I'm not your bro. I'm not your, all right. I'm just curious, I like your phone, you see. You're trying to intimidate me. Can you tell him to pack it in? Like, there's no need. Excuse me? Excuse me? What, why, do I, why do I need to stop recording? I'm just expressing my right to film from public. This is very unprofessional behaviour. Excuse me? There's private cars as well in there. You have no right to record a private car. Either. They're not exempt from being filmed. No, yeah, they are. You have, They're you not. You have no this is security issue, right? But you have no right to record. Okay, well, rest assured, I haven't you got... You have no right to record private vehicles. Actually, they're in public or anything I can see public from public. Place. But I can That's film them from public. No, it's a private area. You're not allowed to record private guard the vehicle. There's a national security with, with regards to it. In security in regards yeah, to what? Because their guards private vehicles. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't so have known the, that. Yeah. Well, they are, well, what did you think they were? Excuse me? I have done my homework, but I can film anything from public. This is very unprofessional. But this whole trying to surround me, intimidate me, like. He's a large report, you. You're in a public place. You seem quite reasonable. I'd rather speak with you. Like, you two, I don't know, like, you two what's going asked, on. Like. You were asked a question while you were recording. They're right. Recording. And pipes. Okay, is it, is it an offence? To record private vehicles. I haven't been able to make out any private vehicles. No, really. Going by you, you're you saying that, but regardless, they can be filmed. Sorry, it's safety as well. And your CCTV cameras it's film safety. everyone's private cars. It's safety, okay. I'm okay. not here to so we're, we're working in it like for security and safety, okay. So there is a there is an issue around recording our private vehicles. I mean, technically, she's not wrong here. There is certainly a risk of security issues for a member of Angarda Shiakana being filmed in their private vehicle or followed or whatever the case may be. The fact of the matter is, as it stands in this exact scenario, it is not illegal for him to do that. Now, it can definitely tip the scale and become a point where it is harassment, but at this point, he's just standing there with a camera. As irritating as this is, and as much as he has certainly provoked this response and absolutely wanted this response, he technically is not doing anything wrong. Well, in terms of the law, in terms of normal everyday people, we can all agree he's been a complete prick. And, and our red numbers, do you know what I mean? We don't know what purpose you're going to be using this for. Exactly. Just for my own no, recreation. No, 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 for what? 
We have an issue with, with regards to that. I have an issue with my. It's not my, a security that, risk. It is. It's not. Yes, it is. It's not. Who it says you? It's a complete stranger who won't give over any of your information. I don't need to give over my information. Well, we know I'm God expressing knows my rights. What you're linked to. Do you know what I mean? So my point is, I don't, want, I don't want. I don't want my guard, my personal vehicle, Reg, being anywhere. It's not going to be you anywhere. Don't, don't have worry. my authority. Yeah, I have what a stranger's word for that. You okay, well you have to go on based on what you know. Not everyone is. You don't have a right to I'm not to a criminal, life. like, you can't you just suspect I, me. Did I say you were? Yeah. But we yeah. don't know who you are. Well, yeah, and you I'm can't treat you everyone not, as a suspect. You do not have the right to record our well, own Well, technically I do. No, you don't. It's private spot. You do, not. CCTV you cameras do not. can... You do not. That's different. You do not. You're, you're a private person. You do not have a right to record private reg and use them for whatever purposes. You don't. So go back and look up your legislation. So when she said there, go back and look up your legislation, I did. I had a look for any legislation that covered photographing cars, private vehicles, registration plates, whatever the case may be. And I wasn't actually able to find anything. The only thing that might come close is a little piece of legislation uh, with regard to photographing witnesses in trials or uh, jury members in trials and harassment. They're the only thing. So, for example, if you were to hide in a bush and photograph your neighbor's cars that went past every single day, by way of harassment or stalking, then that absolutely would be illegal. It wouldn't actually be the act of photographing the registration plate or the vehicle itself. It would be the act of stalking that would be illegal. And in the case of a witness or a member of a jury in a trial, then again, it wouldn't necessarily be the act of photographing the registration that would be illegal. It would be the act of identifying a person who is protected by a court order not to be identified. I'm absolutely open to correction on this one. If anybody can find any piece of relevant Irish legislation, that covers what she's claiming, then I'm happy to correct it on the record. But I was unable to find anything like that. You okay? Great, yeah, and you? Yeah, would you mind identifying yourself? Sorry, I'm well identified. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Guard. Guard? Yep. All right. As I said, I like your phone, it's nice. Thanks. Where'd you get it? It's an iPhone. An iPhone? Yeah. What type of iPhone? iPhone XR. Can you just leave me alone, mate? I don't I feel but a little bit harassed. Workplace. I'm entitled to do whatever I want in my workplace. Well no, well technically I'm, you're not. Like, I am actually. We're in we're in a section. public place. Yeah. You're just kind of coming up to me, circling me, surrounding me. Oh, as like... I said, it's a nice phone. I, I'm thinking of getting one myself, you see. So you're not trying to intimidate me? No. Hey, how, how about this? Do you want this? From, from me to you. A gift? It's an iPhone 8, yeah. If wow. I give you this, will you leave me alone? But I'm not doing nothing with you. You say you wanted a phone. Here, take this phone. Sorry? Take this phone. Oh, no, I don't want any of your property, so Okay. No. I couldn't couldn't deprive you of your phone. Why do you, you have two phones? Yeah. That's nice. But how can we proceed? Like, can we find a resolution? Like. I can't just stop recording. Why can you not stop recording? Because this is part of like a civil rights thing. I, ca I can't just concede to, to what you're saying. It's not conceding to what we're saying. So what's your plan? To stand here all day? No. And how much voltage do we need? If you're in public, you don't have any. I do have any rights. Not. Actually, do have rights. Yeah, I know. I understand. Yeah, 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 I underst
Listen, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not going to lie. I have to hold back a little bit. I have to hold back a l just a little bit. Because... Uh, I shouldn't really. I shouldn't really. But I have to hold back just a little bit. Because... I don't know, I don't want him to start moving mad, arresting me, and this and that. I'm surprised that they didn't actually push push further for details. Um, I'm surprised they didn't push push for it a bit more. So she was very set on the whole private number plate thing. And I wanted to tell her, listen, I can film your car all I like. But at the same time... <laughs> I don't know. At the same time, I don't want to provoke her too much. Because, yeah, they did seem like, they did seem a little bit lawless. The guy in the car seemed a little bit more understanding. I could just tell by his body language, but... That big fella and the lady, yeah. <laughs> they were, they had, they had their own ideas, but anyway. Probably gonna wrap this up right here. Alrighty, I'm not 100% sure what happened to the cow in the background there. But anyway, here comes the bit that I wasn't looking forward to, the bit that lost me loads of subscribers last night. But hey, look, that's okay by me. If people don't like my videos and don't want to subscribe, then that's fine. All I ask people is to just keep an open mind. You guys know me if you've watched any of my videos. If you're new here, go back and watch a few others. You know how I feel about these auditors. But I also feel very strongly about accountability of police officers. I do believe that that's very important, and I think that we would do ourselves a disservice not to. However, this is not the way to do it. These guys standing at the back gate of a police station just looking for a reaction is not the way to do this. Now let's have a look at this whole interaction. I think the whole thing was about 25 minutes long and it drew in five members of Angarda Shiakana to deal with somebody who was standing there with a camera. Now let's break it down a little bit. While the auditor himself how did he act? I thought he acted fairly okay. Like the way he spoke to them, he was respectful. He was relatively articulate. He wasn't aggressive. He wasn't shouting. He wasn't swearing. He asked politely for that officer to stand back and to stop circling around him, which I thought was really strange and totally unprofessional. And yeah, generally he was pretty reasonable. If it weren't for the fact that he was just there to antagonize them. And then let's look at the officers right across the board. I am sorry. I know people aren't going to like this but they were unbelievably unprofessional. From the very first officer who was very ignorant in the way he spoke to him. You know, the second guy, the young lad that was, you know, quite aggressive. Then you had the bigger police officer who was circling around behind him and kind of just being doing the whole bully boy routine. Then you had the female police officer or Garda who didn't have a clue what she was talking about. And I'm sorry, if that hurts your feels, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to lie to protect people's sensibilities. She, and in fact, all of them said that he was doing something illegal. Now, it could be argued that there was a level of harassment there, maybe. I personally don't think it met that mark. I couldn't imagine a court would either. Now, the other things to bear in mind when it comes to police and police interactions and the Guardi in this scenario. Members of Angarda Shia are human beings, whether you agree with that or not. These five officers here may have just had a really tough shift. They might have been called out to a horrible incident. And we can expect that a human being, regardless of the uniform that they're wearing, might have an off day. And in fact, you might say it's no excuse and that we expect better. And I'd say, yeah, to some extent, that is true. We should expect better, bearing in mind the fact that they are still human beings and can make mistakes. If it was enough of an issue that it required five Gardaí to deal with it, then it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to call a senior, in the case of Angarda Shiakana, an inspector or a superintendent, to clarify where the legal standing is here. Was he justified? Was he allowed to do what he wants? Now, being legally allowed to do something and being reasonable in those actions are two totally different things. I can legally hammer on the walls here and use power tools all day long until 9 p.m. from the minute the sun comes up. 
every single day, Monday to Sunday. Nobody can do anything about it because it's legal for me to do that. Is it reasonable? No, it's not. So just because something's legal doesn't mean it's okay to do by the standards of society. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for joining me today. The next video is hilarious. Oh, oh, I can't even begin to tell you how messed up this dude is. Folks, thank you so much. Sláinte.